Hello, I'm Sam Hume from BBC Earth Unplugged and today I'm getting my hands on some very special technology. I'm Joe Hansen from It's Okay To Be Smart. Today I'm at the Hopkins Marine Station to meet someone and something really cool. Now, Hansen, what are you doing here? This is Hume. an Unplugged exclusive. No, this is an It's Okay To Be Smart exclusive. You'll never tell me anything. Well, Don't you might as well make the best of it. So today we've come to meet Dr. Stephen Litvin from Hopkins Marine Station of Stanford University. Steve, how's it going? I'm Joe. Hi, nice to meet you. Sam. Steve. What have you got here? What we have here is the Hero 360 underwater virtual reality camera system. And what is this used for? I mean, this is kind of like a space age device here. Yeah, it, it's really six GoPros that we can take underwater. But what we're using it for is, is to be able to provide virtual reality footage that lets people get underwater into the kelp forest, into our sort of redwood forest in the near coast. That's amazing. So that's what you've been using it for at the moment in terms of the kind of scientific application? So that we're using it for an interesting scientific application. We actually work with a virtual reality lab. It's the Goldbogen lab at Hopkins and the Balenson lab up in, in Palo Alto. And the Balenson lab is sort of an experimental behavior lab that's used virtual reality to see how we can improve people's understanding of environmental issues and really affect their conservation behavior. So what can a camera system like this show us than just one single camera can? Well, what it can pr provide is a 360 view. So it ends up being, for lack of a better term, a moving Google Street View. So we can walk you through the kelp forest and at any point you can look to the left, you can look to the right, but my favorite part is looking up because you really get that forest feeling, the light sort of coming through the kelp. You know. And, and just, it's something most people who don't get to dive never get to see. You give people a real otter's eye view of the kelp forest here, huh? That's exactly. pretty cool. You know, speaking of the kelp forest, I was out there today looking, I think this one's thin or something, maybe you can help me identify what it is. Nice grab. Thanks, man. So, to see what I can do with this, head to BBC Earth Unplugged. And to get virtual with me, head over to It's Okay To Be Smart. Let's get going.